Something that's been on my mind a lot are all the doors and openings, and we talk about security and just that the door, it's so easy to get in and kids are walking out in the middle of the day, in and out all the time, so I think that's a really important need to have one place where everybody goes in and can be monitored. If you don't get here early enough uh, and you're like already rushing late and you're kind of stressed about that, then you're not going to get a parking spot and so you're going to have to park far away and usually it's down one of the streets like 11th Street. Uh, there's parking uh, on one side and the street's pretty narrow. So if a car is coming this way and a car is coming another way, it's sometimes you have to ride the curb to not get hit by the other car. I feel so bad for the people that live around here because it's like we're always parked outside their house. We're constantly moving. They're trying to get into their driveway and we're trying to get a decent parking spot. But like I, I feel really bad for them. We've outgrown the building and so we have teachers that are, have offices and closets. We actually have classrooms that, are, that, uh, that were originally intended for closet space are now classroom space. Uh, what was storage space has now become classroom space. We've tried to utilize every inch we could of the building, um, which then doesn't leave us a whole lot of flexibility to do uh, a lot of really neat collaborative things that we could be doing and, and need to be doing for our students to be successful in, in today's society. You know, by the end of the day, they're just really worn out because they, um, we think like, oh, they're, they're kids, they can suck it up, but it's really hard to learn if you're hot all day. Um, and we are expecting them to learn difficult things. We're expe I mean, I teach college composition. We're expecting them to be able to engage their brains, create something, use research. And if you've been uncomfortable um, to the point of uh, sort of exhaustion all day, that's a difficult thing to do. It's not easy to learn when you're sweating in one classroom and then you go to your next classroom and you want 14 blankets on because it's too cold so I mean that's definitely been an issue. So some people say I didn't have air conditioning back then and I was just fine. So I go back to let's say John Deere which is a prevalent company around here. What if their argument was when they have engineers show up to their place and say well hey we want to be the best company we want to provide get the best engineers to come here but we don't need air conditioning because we made it just fine early on uh, we don't need it now they wouldn't be where they are today. Um, if their whole thought process was, hey, we were doing just fine the way we were, and they didn't evolve, they wouldn't be where they're at. They wouldn't be the juggernaut of, of farm, uh, in the farm industry they are now. And that's true of any business. They have to continually evolve. They have to continue to look at what's best for their business uh, to provide the best program and the best experiences for their clients and for their people they work with. Us as a school district, we're in the same boat. It's not different than that. We want to do what we can to provide the best experience, the best opportunities for our students so they can be competitive in today's uh, society. I'm on the third floor and um, our projectors are mounted on the ceiling. Um, but when anybody walks across the floor, it, the whole thing shakes. And you, so if there's a, there's a kid in class you know, they just had this nervousness, you know, of, and I do the same thing, your leg's shaking. Literally, the whole classroom shakes. A common mindset of people that may be against us improving the facilities or, uh, I, know, I know it's money, right, that it comes down to, and so they maybe don't want to make that investment personally, but, you know, they often have the mindset of, well, it was good en if it's good enough for me, then why isn't it good enough for the next group of students that are coming through? And the, my kickback to that is always, well, when did you graduate? Well, good enough for you, you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago is very different than good enough now um, because this building has deteriorated in those 10 years. And I know we have improvements to the building, but it's a facade because it's oftentimes on the front side of the building. And most of our instruction, most of our classes happens on the back side of the building where most of our core classes are, um, some of our electives are in the older parts of the building. Um, and so having not set foot in this building and having to navigate this building if you haven't graduated within the last 10, 20, 30 years is a very different look. And so yeah, good enough back then and good enough now, um, it's, a, it's a different building than when it was. Even though it's the same one in a lot of areas, it doesn't operate the same way that it used to. Technology has advanced, education has advanced, our world has advanced. And we have to keep up with that. If we want our kids to learn and we want our kids to grow, then we have to be willing to not be stuck where we were 20, 10, 30, 50 years ago. We have to be willing to move forward to meet the needs of our kids where they're at and who those kids are today that aren't the same kids that, that were when we were kids.
Just navigating the building if you are um, if you're in a wheelchair, if you're on crutches, or if your mobility is impaired in any sort of way, it's, it's a tough building to navigate. I'm not looking for empathy. I want equal opportunity. I want to be able to go through this building like any other teenager and go to my classes and be able to just sit and learn and not have to worry about all of this extra stuff. I want to be able to roll into my class, sit under my desk, and open up my book and when the bell rings, I want to be able to just go to my next class and do it all over again. That's really what I want.